Hi, it's Ryan from Ryan Fowler Photography, and I've got a tutorial for you on the f a good Photoshop alternative to the spot removal tool in Lightroom. Now, in Lightroom, the spot removal tool, it's good for a lot of things, especially sensor spots, um, but actually getting rid of pesky little bits is really quite annoying sometimes because it just doesn't work and it doesn't go all the way to the edges and you get little spots or marks or um, little feathered bits that just look really weird and out of place and are really annoying to try and get rid of. So what I've done is I've done a quick edit on this image and I've sent it across into Photoshop by just hitting Command E on a Mac or Control E on a PC or you can right click edit in and open in Photoshop. So what I've done here is I've opened it up and this is the screen that it comes to. You've got your background layer um, and then you've got all your tools down the side. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my face first layer and hit to Command J or Control J on a PC just so I've got a duplicate of that layer. So that's going to duplicate it to create another one exactly the same on top. And because it's exactly the same, if you turn it on or off, it's not going to do anything. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to the lasso tool. I can hit the L key on the keyboard. Um, but what I'm do going to do is I'm going to get rid of a couple of these little things out of the water. Um, and that just goes up into the hills there. So I'm going to zoom in. I'll hit command and then hit the plus key. Control and then the plus key on a PC. And I'll just go down here to this little thing. And I'm just going to draw around what I want to get rid of and it creates its own little loop I'll right click click fill and then you want content aware now this is the type of fill that we want because it's going to um, replace that section with something that looks similar and it will look a lot better without that extra piece there so I'll hit OK and you can see how it's gone so I'm going to hit command D or control D on a PC and if unless you are looking really 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 closely at every pixel you can't tell that there was something else there so I'm going to do the same on here I'm just going to draw around this one right click fill content aware OK and it's gone now that one you can tell a tiny bit that it's happened but because we're looking really closely if we zoom out you wouldn't notice that it was there now I can I can turn this layer on and off and you can see the difference that it has there now I'll zoom back in I'll to zoom out it's command minus or control minus uh, just to the left of the plus key on your keyboard I'm just going to go around this little guy right click OK so that one's gone and then I'll go up to this little one here now this one's gone slightly into the hill so I'm going to zoom in a bit more and it's, the image does start to get a tiny bit fuzzy but that's okay so I'm going to start drawing and stop right about there bring it down now I did this same image in Lightroom and got rid of these extra little bits and there were a couple of tiny little um, miscalculations that it did but all in all it turned out pretty well. So there we go. That is the content aware tool in its most basic form. Um, you can see if I do this it will get rid of, it will turn on and off the layer so I can actually see what I've gotten rid of. Uh, there's another tiny little bit just down here that I'll get rid of. It's really good and it's really quick once you get used to it. Um, you can just hit the enter key uh, on the keyboard instead of having to go over and click OK every time. Um, but that's completely up to you. And then once you've done that, just hit com Command S or Control S. That will send it back to Lightroom and then you've got a content aware filled image. Um, if you want to do sort of more complicated things and Lightroom just isn't cutting it, try this content aware because it is really good for doing those pesky little things that Lightroom just won't do properly without having to apply 10 different spot removals to the exact same spot. 
Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please do like, comment, subscribe. I'd love to hear what you think. If you view the content aware tool, what you think of the Lightroom tool, um, please let me know in the comments below. Make sure you head on over to the website. The link is in the description to the Lightroom Learning Center if you haven't been there already. And the Facebook group link there is there as well. I will see you in the next video.